And as we mentioned, Hamas welcomes the UN Security Council voting to back the ceasefire proposal. In a statement, the group says it emphasizes readiness to cooperate with the mediators to enter into indirect negotiations on the implementation of the ceasefire deal. And Hamas says it will continue its efforts to achieve national rights for Palestinians. All right, let's uh, go uh, to Marwan uh, Bishara. He is uh, Al Jazeera's senior political analyst. He joins us via Skype from uh, Paris. Uh, Marwan, um, a diplomatic win, we've been saying, for the United States. Uh, the Israeli leadership still a bit cagey, has not publicly endorsed the ceasefire roadmap. Hamas has come out, welcomed the resolution. Where do we go from here? Well... Certainly, the United States, as the winner uh, of this uh, day, of this uh, day at the UN Security Council, will be the power that will dictate uh, the days, the weeks, the months to come. Uh, the, the pace, the phases, the stages of whatever negotiations or dynamics uh, are implemented uh, in, in this issue. And I think the United States will be engaging with Israel as it will be engaging with Hamas through Qatar and Egypt. And it will decide whether Israel's excuses, justifications and, and obfuscations are uh, well-founded or not. Uh, and as per usual, and we've known that the past 30 years of American diplomacy in Israel-Palestine is that the United States will continue to play Israel's lawyer, Israel's defender, giving Israel excuses, while at the same time trying to nudge it to accept uh, its ideas. But just to contextualize, it's really important to do so to do it. In order to know where we're going, we really have to once again shed a light on where, where we're coming from. This has been eight years of genocide, of war crimes, of a total destruction of um, the Gaza Strip sanctioned, supported, armed, and financed by the United States. The same United States that until 24 hours ago was supporting the killing of 300 Palestinians in Gaza. It's the same United States that simultaneously is uh, um, godfathering a ceasefire proposal that is winning at the UN Security Council. So here you have a lesson in geopolitics geopolitics where diplomacy is the reflection of the balance or imbalance of power and the united states has come out on top in terms of the geopolitics of israel palestine ever since it sent its armadas on october 10 or 11 to the area to defend israel as israel carried its crimes against gaza it is israel it is the united states that has imposed its uh, military strategic will on the region and now it is uh, imposing its diplomatic will it has for 8 months opposed any mention of a ceasefire any mention of a ceasefire at the un security council but now it proposed its own uh, ceasefire ambiguous as it may be Every paragraph of it probably will need another agreement, another set of negotiations, but it is what it is. This is the world we live in, and the United States will be leading the process forward. And Marwan, how pivotal are the next hours and days? Well, they are pivotal in as far as giving momentum to what just happened in the Security Council. And that's why I think it's quite important, um, your question, because I think the Israelis are ex contemplating exactly that. How far can they procrastinate? Because I think Netanyahu was living in his uh, magical world of carrying war crimes while waiting for perhaps a Trump administration to come forward. His clock was different from Biden's. Biden's will probably be hoping that either Netanyahu gets with the program and accepts the deal or maybe negotiate a bit further. But probably the Biden administration wouldn't mind if this government implodes, that Israel calls for another election, and that the likes of Benny Gantz, who the polls say will win, and he's presumably today Biden's man in Israel, if he's elected prime minister, you know, before the American elections, that certainly will be a big win for um, 
the Biden administration or President Biden himself. So the next few hours are really key in telling us whether the Israelis are serious in, or not in winding down this war or to maintain their more of the same procrastination in order to buy time until Biden is out of office. Marwan Bashar, Al Jazeera's senior political analyst. Thank you, Marwan. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.